Well, 19 days to go until the midterm elections. Those contests will determine which party controls Congress. One key local race involves an open seat in North Carolina's first congressional district. Mike Gooding spoke to the candidates. Madam Speaker, Since 2004, Democrat G.K. Butterfield has represented North Carolina's first congressional district, which, as redrawn, includes 19 counties in the northeastern part of the Tar Heel State, directly below the Virginia line. Now, with Butterfield retiring, NC1 is an open seat this November. Republican Sandy Smith and Democrat Don Davis are running to succeed Butterfield. I was the first Republican to swing this district 25 points. It was rated a D30 district, and uh, we think uh, that we actually, we questioned some of the results uh, because there were some shenanigans that happened even here in North Carolina. And I'm not a quitter, and I know that the folks need a real America First candidate, and that's why I continued to fight on and decided to rerun in 2022 to finish the job and take the district back. Uh, this is about uh, this election, uh, the legacy of leadership that Eastern North Carolina is accustomed to, um, and I truly believe that I am um, a part of the, the legacy of leadership and this is, too, about the future of Eastern North Carolina. Which direction are we going to go? Um, and we must stay in this fight for our kids. We must stay in this fight for um, a better health. And we must stay in this fight for good-paying American jobs right in Eastern North Carolina. Sabato's crystal ball rates NC1 as leans Democratic. Mike Gooding, 13 News Now. In the 2020 presidential election in North Carolina's first district, President Joe Biden defeated former President Donald Trump 53 percent to 45 percent.